we've sang that, hasn't it, Tim? Uh, I like that. I mean, we, we used to sing that years and years ago, but uh, I really like that song. Uh, we'll have to keep that one in the, in the rotisserie. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, if you guys would come to uh, First Timothy, uh, First Timothy, and we'll be looking at uh, chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2. <clears throat> I'll give you a little bit of time to get there. But what we do, of course, today is potluck. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to sit together. We're going to eat a meal together. And Paul says in 1 Corinthians that when we get together like that, when we, when we uh, share a meal and, and, uh, and drink like that, that we do it to remember the Lord's death till he comes. Uh, and that's what we that's the focus of getting together and just remembering you know and 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 bringing that to mind and yeah I mean we can't get far from the cross anyway on every day but it's just one of those times that we need to focus on that and that makes me think of first Timothy chapter 2 <clears throat> in first Timothy chapter 2 and starting in verse 1 Paul is writing here and he says I exhort therefore that first of all supplication prayers and intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men that's a good advice yeah um, for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior and look at verse 4 he says who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth those are some good things there God wants all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth uh, but continue on and he says for there is one God and one mediator between God and men the man Christ Jesus who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle I speak the truth in Christ and lie not a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity so there you go in just a couple of short verses seven short verses there you have you have everything from uh, understanding what Christ has done for you and making and being a ransom and paying the price of our sin and there you get a little bit of right division too, where Paul is telling us that that he is the Apostle to the Gentiles and we take what taken the things that Paul is is uh, making known to us and we apply we can apply that today and be thankful for it let's go ahead and uh, open in a word of prayer <laughs> Heavenly Father we do thank you that as we come to your word this morning that uh, that you have provided a way through your son the Lord Jesus Christ to have eternal life and to know that it is through him that we have salvation Lord we thank you for the Apostle Paul and that you gave him the gospel of grace and that you made known the things that were accomplished at the cross through him through through Jesus Christ and Lord we just thank you again for this body of believers that we can come together and encourage each other and to um, and to build each other up and to just comfort each other Lord we thank you for the food we're about to that we'll have afterwards and and, uh, and for the grace that you've given us this day, it's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you.